We're going to show the integration between IBM Endpoint Manager and QRadar's Vulnerability Manager, or QVM. Uh, so IEM is, is well known to, to be very capable of allowing you to patch and find out what needs to be patched into thousands and thousands of uh, endpoints. Uh, but uh, one important thing that we get now is that we have the capability of bringing all that intelligence, all those vulnerabilities that has been found. So the first thing that we can do is actually have those being provided into Curator as if it they were be another scanner. So all those vulnerabilities Curator now gets to know about by virtue of getting that feed from QB. And I'm going to show actually how easy that is to, to configure. Well, also, one thing that you get, uh, actually, regardless of whether you have uh, IBM Endpoint Manager or not, is that Curator gets an automatic feed of everything that is, and I'm going to use that term, patchable by IBM Endpoint Manager. Again, regardless of whether you have the, the, the product. So it's easy for you to actually perform a search and say, well, out of all my vulnerabilities, which of them uh, can be actually fixed by Endpoint Manager, regardless of whether it was Endpoint Manager the one that found it or whether, or whether it was uh, a network scanner the one that, that actually did find them. But that number of vulnerabilities, as efficient as uh, IEM is, might be way too big. So the other thing that you can actually do is that you can actually sort those vulnerabilities by risk score, meaning by topology, by uh, log information, by uh, flows that had happened, by activity that has been seen, uh, and, and which product is able to actually allow you to, to create that, get that uh, risk score is actually precisely risk manager, a component of Curator that we have actually shown in other videos. So we're going to be able to show how with, um, with uh, risk manager, you can sort the vulnerabilities and see which are actually increase the, the risk based on some conditions. See if, if I see activity, you know, increase the, uh, the, the risk score. And I'm going to show that in, in, in detail during the demo. And then what you can do is that you can be a, a report today. You can generate a report. And I'm going to show some, some report. Or very soon, there's going to be an API that's going to be a, made available that allows the direct communication between curator and and an endpoint manager, and but basically as please what, after you have sort your vulnerabilities, you are basically saying please patch these. And not only you you get that, but you 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 have the capability also to look from a search in vulnerability manager and get the patch status, and you can see well, uh, endpoint manager is. Uh, is working on this, is pending for a restart on the machine, is already fixed, is pending for a download, all that information you, you can actually get. So let's uh, let's go to the demo. Here I have the three VMs. This is the endpoint, the, uh, the IEM client one machine. Uh, this is the, the big fix, uh, the, sorry, I call, keep on calling IEM uh, big fix, uh, its own name, the, uh, the console for Endpoint Manager, and we see that you know here uh, it sees that uh, workstation uh, client one, and uh, and also we have of course uh, Curator. And we are uh, let's start with the QVM uh, tab to start looking at this. Please start by creating a search and see you know I want to see which of the vulnerabilities that I have were actually found by endpoint manager so found by scanner and that's a default there are others you know of course and uh, in, in, and I don't have all of them here on, on my demo but you know some of some of the ones that are here so I add that filter and I click search get f 500 and, and, and change uh, vulnerabilities different vulnerabilities but I can actually pivot that on instances and see how many uh, devices have actually uh, have those vulnerabilities and that number uh, jumps a bit at uh, 687 because there are some of those endpoints that have more than one vulnerability and here we see you know the IEM client one and all the machines so you see that this data actually came 
uh, from uh, Endpoint Manager. If we click into all the vulnerabilities that we have, again, from, from Endpoint Manager and from all the scanners, all the, uh, I want QBM to show me all the vulnerabilities that are available uh, that have been discovered in this demo system by multiple scanners. See that there are, there are about a thousand, almost twice as many, uh, from the ones that the Endpoint Manager found, vulnerabilities uh, di discovered. If we people those by uh, actual instances, that number jumps up to 87,000. So those are the vulnerabilities I need, I need to deal with. Oh, well, that's a massive, massive number. So how can I use some intelligence in here? Well, first, we can see and say, well, how many of those vulnerabilities can Endpoint Manager help me up with? So if I perform a search, and I select this external reference of type equal IBM Endpoint Manager patch. This criteria actually is going to give me how many of those vulnerabilities can Endpoint Manager actually is capable of fixing for me. And we see that right away we get 24,000 of those. What's that? Like about 28%? 28% uh, 28 of those vulnerabilities big fix can actually uh, f uh, remediate uh, for me in fact I actually save that as a search that is uh, this search here called patchable by end by uh, IEM that we're going to be using uh, later for the uh, prioritization number of 24,000 it's too big I want to uh, you know some do some smart prioritization in here so I go to the risk uh, manager tab and in here I have this policy created let me actually show you what did I put in here I, I put if any one of these IPs that uh, the instance and host that uh, I, that uh, endpoint manager can fix if anyone has been talking it's been some communication please let me know about it but you know I can be more sophisticated on the searches I can put you know if if they are in a reference set but smart list that curator use I have shown in all the videos uh, if it's a, if it's talking to a remote uh, network if he's talking to some geographic network that I that I'm interested if uh, you know uh, CVSS score greater than five there's a ton of other criteria that you can actually select in here for and make your risk uh, policy being uh, you know more specific to your organization. So I, I selected only this uh, simple one, and and when I ran that, I actually, uh, well before before I actually uh, run it, uh, let me actually show you a couple of other things. Uh, I can actually set this to to be to run every every hour uh, to, to to show the 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 report this is uh, evaluate on actual communication but I can actually make it on possible communication meaning oh this device hasn't talked to the network but the path is available for it to do so see this is smart enough to actually find that out as we have shown in other uh, uh, risk manager videos so we also are doing something interesting in here which is for that policy we are doing the following is so every hour which is that the policy runs uh, by default uh, looking at the 30 days uh, data that we have on the connection database uh, we are actually asking it to increase the the uh, the risk score which is also is another name for the uh, vulnerability score here the risk score gets in increased 500 percent if uh, that vulnerability, if that criteria actually is, is met, which is, is been talking to the network. So when we run that, that policy, actually I, I run it in here and, and we can actually uh, see the result, we get all those 34 uh, endpoints whose risk score has been increased dramatically and that's what we see them here. And, and you know, that might be the ones that I want to actually uh, begin to work with. And how do I show those? Well, we can actually produce reports like let me show you how I build these uh, simple reports uh, 
is basically one pane and it's a type of vulnerabilities you know and in here I define you know group by asset patch and by by risk score and if we run that particular report we get that list of you know, items IBM client one has 142 vulnerabilities and here are the first 50 of those uh, other report uh, can be a little bit more uh, uh, sophisticated like you know I have the asset and I have the vulnerability co uh, count of them and the risk score I mean you, you can produce a report uh, if you want and again and pretty soon you're going to be able to send this information via an API uh, to endpoint manager to have those uh, uh, automatically fixed but the other thing that you can actually do is that you can actually see uh, which what's the status of the vulnerabilities uh, and you can actually create a search that uh, should be here yeah. patch status equals to and you can say pending download fixed uh, you know. let me actually look for the ones that are actually uh, fixed oh it was already there and I uh, you know go ahead and execute uh, the search I click twice on the on that filter if I click search I get you know these uh, 84 vulnerabilities are already been applied by by uh, big fix so you, you see how this uh, this integration works and let me actually show you how easy it is to, to do this integration you need to do only two things one is to go into your admin tab and on the vulnerability component you need to specify you know what's the IP address in this case is the the IEM uh, is uh, on the same network and it's the 100 put the uh, username and the password and that's all you need to do now you are able to get all that vulnerability data from from uh, big fix and in order to know what has been patched what has been you know get get the the logs from it well you go into the log sources and um, and actually uh, we created an entry for endpoint manager which allows us to get uh, the log information from it